What is going on, everybody? Pete Simonetti here for NYYU. We finally get our first comments from Yankees leadership when it comes to the whole Tampa meetings and all that uh, good old fun stuff. But the first thing we get, and thank you to uh, Joe Randazzo at Yankee Librarian. This is all from him. This is from an article uh, written on ESPN. Hal Steinbrenner says the Yankees will make changes. Yankees owner Hal Steinbrenner says the team might make personnel changes after three days of meetings last week that followed New York's worst season in three decades. We're going to make some changes. Some may be more subtle than others, Steinbrenner said Wednesday during Sportico's Invest in Sports conference. Possibly personnel, but not necessarily personnel. It could be practices. It could be the way we communicate. You know, the Yankees are very big on communication, which they have none, but they're big on communication. They went on the right. Steinbrenner said a group of 15 team officials met in Florida. At times, it got a little dicey, but it was respectful. Steinbrenner recalled asking the group to check egos at the door among the topics of players' health, clubhouse culture, analytics, and scouting. I want you to challenge everything, all of our philosophies, he said. I want you to challenge each other. Hey, you see a beautiful picture of Randy Levine. Mod on, look at this guy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> but anyway, let's discuss this real quick. Let's go back up here and uh, take a look at what Steinbrenner says here, okay? We're going to make some changes. It could be personnel. Or it may not be personnel. It may be more of the practices that the team is doing. And, of course, communication. The Yankees love to discuss communication. Apparently, they're the best at it. In reality, they are the worst. And you know how I know this? Many different ways I could tell you this. They brag about how strong the communication was, right? Then they do things like they get rid of Dylan Lawson because he didn't communicate well enough. Yet they just told us that it's amazing communicating organization. They do it better than anybody. Aaron Boone will sit there. His players will tell you one thing. Boone will tell you something else. Uh, the, the health staff would do something different. There is no communication on the Yankees. So the one thing I will agree with is that does need to get better. They obviously have to communicate better. Again, from this, it got a little dicey. I do specifically like that he mentioned clubhouse culture because guys is it a coincidence is it just the random coincidence that the texas rangers are managed by baseball lifer bruce bochi that the houston astros are managed by baseball lifer uh dusty baker that the arizona diamondbacks are managed by a baseball lifer in tori lavolo and of course uh, the Atlanta Braves by uh, Brian Snicker. And then, of course, the Philadelphia Phillies baseball lifer Rob Thompson. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys they are the greatest managers that ever existed. But what I will tell you is that one thing I know for a fact, and I guarantee that they are doing with that club, is that they are prepared, ready to go every single day. And the goal is to be better than you were yesterday. The goal isn't simply, it's okay, don't worry about it. Go sit down, let me go talk to the media for you, relax. It's all right. Ding! Cupcakes already! It ain't that culture in those clubhouses. I'd put every single dollar on it. That ain't happening. You could go back and look at Tori Lavello's comments. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out on my shield. They wanted me to be nice to the players, be friends, make everybody get along. We have to be better every single day. That is the way I'm going to manage this year. And voila, they are one game away from going to the National League Championship Series after being a disaster last year and him being shown, hey, the door's right there. It's about time for you to go. We all know what is wrong with the Yankees, folks. Every fan that watches knows this is not new to us. Again, this is not rebuilding a wheel. It's letting the wheel run the normal way. The Yankees are trying to fix all this and make different things and this and that and that and this. Let's get the cheapest manager we can find. Let's get the Muffin Man. Cheapest one we can get in there. 
Build up that analytics squad. Let them run it. Let them run the, run the field. Just tell them, hey, Booney, here's the game plan. Two hours before the game. This guy's going to come into the six, this, 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 and this. You need to get these guys in today. How about let a manager be a manager? Hell, maybe it could be Boone. Maybe if all the hands are off, he could be a better manager. I don't know if that's going to change his quote-unquote toughness. I don't know if that exists. But I do like that they mention things that we already know about. And again, that's why I'm saying these meetings are funny. Just talk to the fans. Player health obviously is a problem. Clubhouse culture, analytics. If I were to give you guys three things, clubhouse culture, analytics, and health would be the three things I think every Yankee fan across the board would sit there and go, those are issues. Yankees got to fix them somehow. Some way or another, they got to fix it. So again, these are the first comments we get. Hal Steinbrenner says there will be changes. He doesn't necessarily say it's going to be personnel. He kind of took it back when he when he originally said it. Or it could be uh, had the way they communicate and or practices that they're currently using. So does that give you confidence? Does that make you a little excited? The only thing I take from this is that they mentioned the three things that I've been saying for a long time are problems. And it got a little dicey. I don't know what, what it means for them to get a little dicey, but apparently got a little dicey and a little respectful, okay? But let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Does this make you feel any more confident? Does this make you feel like the Yankees are finally catching on to what the issues are in this team? Or is it business as usual with the Yankees? And we'll just see the same um, baloney. Uh, every day. So let me know in the comments below, guys. I'll be back at 5 p.m. to call um, the Phillies-Atlanta game. Until then, guys, I'm out. Peace, baby. Talk to you guys soon. Can't make a promise, but I do my best. 25 sitting on 25 racks. Just got started, no, we ain't done yet. But a new crib, it's a goddamn flex. Sign that check. Told them last year that I've been up next. Can't take calls, but I send that text. From way downtown, but